Hi folks, you'll be pleased to know that my cadmium red has finally arrived. 200mm tube, took it out of the box, this little box, and the corner was a little bit twisted so I tried to straighten it up and I squeezed some paint out of the end of this tube so I put a bit of mask, masking tape on it um, and what's that? And some clean film just to keep it airtight so I can can put some out there. Look at that, much lighter than the the um, the dark stuff, the deep cadmium red deep. So we've got the cadmium red, ultramarine, burnt sienna, Payne's grey, cadmium yellow, medium, and yellow ochre. I probably won't use a lot of that red, having squeezed it out and waited a long time for it. But um, we'll see how we go. I want to do another one for beginners, intermediate, knife wielders. Um, cloth, get that organised, get a bit of this. I think my cup of tea, but I hope I won't forget. Uh, right, I need to just attach that, my little makeshift palette, just using up odds and ends of uh, MDF offcuts and it's working quite well. Right, okay, so let's uh, do a little bit of a sketch, a meadow -y scene which seems to go down all right. I think what you want to have bear in mind is uh, we're painting in in, in uh, slabs, best way I can describe it at the moment, is solid bits and pieces, solid shapes. They are attractive, they look good, but they're easy. And having said that, I'll probably muck it up. But um, we'll have a fairly low horizon, with plenty of sky. Um, now, we'll uh, have a sort of a gentle slope. On there, meadow. And we'll put in some... We'll have a bit of... Bit, coming down here, bit of bit of blue, blue, and then we'll uh, have a bigger one here. Okay, that'll do. Right. Okay. So I'm going to use this lovely little knife here. Right, okay, so um, a nice blue, so we have blue, a bit of white and a bit of that code red. And we will uh, just get some of this on here. You see I've um, Just, I just work this in. lighter. I, I, you can blend with the knife. 
we don't have to have all the knife marks showing. I was, as you know, if you've been following me, I was knifing the paint on randomly and then blending it with a brush. But then you end up with the mixed technique, which is okay. You know, people like it. But it's nice to be able to uh, to use the knife to do it all. And we can add a bit of impasto to this when we've yeah, it's nice and streaky. I think it's a beautiful day today, beautiful, lovely yesterday for remembrance. We stayed out till about 10 o'clock drinking copious quantities of red wine, talking to our lovely neighbours family next door. We sat on our sort of car parking, our, our sort of drives, they're not really drives, where you park your car in front of your house, push the cars back and we sat out there and we, we were observing the uh, two metre rule of course. So once some friends came out from another road, they're walking around seeing what was going on. I did give them a brotherly hug, quick hug. Uh, so, but generally people were well behaved. But the weather through this lockdown has been sensational for, for, for the UK. But it's all changed Sunday. So after my last cooking outside for a few days, um, I'll do that later. So we, we, we're having our evening meal, our dinner, at lunch times now. So of course we're all drinking more than we, should, we would normally. But it'll all come to an end. We hope. So, right, so let's get a bit of uh, burnt sienna. I like burnt sienna in the skies. I'll just um, take some of that off. And get some white. Just a bit of red in there. See what we end up with. Now don't go over where you've where you're going to put your trees. Well just a bit, but not don't cover them up. I've uh, I've, I've prepared three small balls. This is a, a an eight inch by a ten. A bit more ochre, yellow ochre in that. You can use whatever colours you want, you know, it's uh, no no rules really. Other than light against dark, always light against dark. Very, very important. So I'm going to thin that off. Nice light horizon, so we can counter change those trees, those clumps. Well, just working the knife round. I've um, I've rubbed the surface of this MDF down, quite the coarse stuff. Look, you can do all this. Just a little bit of a tooth, and I, and I sealed it with a, a good coat of PVA glue. But probably you need two coats. I, I would recommend two coats because if the first one soaks in a bit, although it's PVA, um, it, the paint the paint might dry in as well, and then you'll have dull patches. But you can always varnish. 
nothing wrong with, with varnish. Right, what I think about that, I'll have give me a cup of tea. Right, now we'll get some ready stuff. Nice layered sky. Not sure about this bit. Uh, no, I don't think we'll risk, risk that. Clean the, clean the knife. Um, we'll put, go back to the ordinary colour. Sort of an unusual streaky sky. Just a sort of a sky effect. I've got no nothing in mind about this sky. It's just, just sort of happening. Uh, and we'll have a bit of filling in the gaps. My wife's gone out for a bit of an exercise walk, not very far. I've been out on the bike, took the bunting down from outside, and the flag down. Okay, that's uh, I'm not convinced by my sky, by any means. But I love that colour there. Going to the blue from the mauve colour. And yellow is this all complementary of mauve, or, or that sort of purpley colour. Just get a bit of... I think I should blend it. Let's uh, graduate the sky. It doesn't really a bit pity. So we all the time we're we're making a painting. Not not a copy of anything particular. It might well be, but. Any bits of hair, just dig off.
เพลินไปเพลินไปสวยงามเลยเกิดเพิ่มขึ้นด้วยการทำงานแน่นอนแต่ก็ไม่ได้ทำให้เราเห็นความสูงสุดของมันอุ๊บสิบแล้วจะได้ Okay, right well, now, here we go. Fun now. Uh, Paint grey, yellow, cage yellow, burnt sienna. So we've got a lovely olive green here. Some darker. Oh, a bit of red in there. Bit burnt sienna. Pinch here for paint on there. Okay, that do. We can put a bit of a a light bit of a bit of cage yellow on there. It's got a sort of a green tinge. Okay, another bit of paper, and we'll put in a bit of blue. Well, a bit of blue, blue, burnt sienna, a bit of white. I want a, a distant colour, cool, cool colour. A little bit of yellow in Get some blue back in there. Right, light against dark. So it's just a nice bit of bit of white in there. Just so it shows up. It's contrast. 
Now I'll put, put, put in some, some of that sky there. Right now we're back into that sort of colour. Try to get nice, nice shapes. That's too, that's too even. So let's uh, get something big up here. Just get that little aberration out there. Okay, now we want a nice bit of uh, bit of land there. This is where we have some fun. A bit of yellow, bit of bit of sienna, burnt sienna. Uh, a bit of dark in there, shadow. Now we've got uh, this big space here. We need a bit of dark behind these trees. So let's just darken it a little bit, the greens. Trying to change the shape of the ground by varying the, the contrast. Soften that a little bit. Make interesting marks with your knives.
put some more dark in there, I think. Change the colour of that a little bit with some more green, more yellowy green. some uh, texture I'll probably yeah put all that wait all that time for the red I'll get on my finger you can usually get the paint out of your fingers your brushes your clothes with uh, dishwasher liquid What's she up there, Quid? Fantastic. Mercer Treat. Just trying to make this look interesting. The, the board, you can mount it, it can be mounted in a frame, in a traditional oil frame. Or it can be mounted on, on another piece of MDF or something with a frame on it to leave a big wide board around the picture so it makes the small picture look more important than it actually is. Well, okay, I quite like that. Let's just anchor that there. Right, let's put a couple of little bushes in. I'm going to use a bit, bit of burn up, a bit of burn sienna, a, a bit of ultramarine, and a bit of paint, a bit of uh, yellow. You get wonderful greens that way. Let's put some here. Okay, that'll do. Uh, put that in the, in the frame. Uh, right, I've got to cut it down now. Now, this is the interesting bit. One finding my craft knife, my sanding knife. I wonder how many thousands of yards I've fitted with this knife. Had it years. Lovely shape, dolphin shape. To go out of that carpet, yeah. oh, unless my age and my bit of arthritis in my wrist will stop stops me even thinking about it. Till I think about it, let's take that off, out of the way, just in case it slides. Like that. Oh. I 
I've cut the ball just for tragedy. No, I don't really. I just, I just fill it with a bit of paint. It's only a scratch. Okay. Gotcha. Right. Let's take the other painting out. I, I like this. I show you this painting. It was still in it a couple of days ago. There it is. It's just shapes. Cloud shapes, distant tree shapes, near tree shapes, and a foreground. It was so simple to do, really, but it wasn't. And I think it, that you, it takes a bit of experience to to have a go at something like that, where there's no no detail, just an impression of detail. And this, the simplicity of it is deceptively uh, nice. Right, that's out. MDF. Oh. Uh, just wonder if I brought the camera back a bit and uh, did that a bit more square. Uh, dogs are kicking off. Okay, let's just zoom out a bit. See what I've got, it's just this clump of trees in bluey green or grey green gives that impression of distance and these uh, middle distance trees. Bit of a bush on there, a, a, a streaky sky, I think the sky, I'm glad I changed it, I think it looks okay like that. Okay, so that's, there we are, that's it. That's my first one today. Now I'll go to another one. Now, uh, right. So let me know what you think about these little paintings. Ten inches by eight on two millimeter MDF, primed, primed with the PVA glue. Lovely surface to paint on, and very cheap. Thanks for looking. Bye bye.